Hi guys, George here with another interesting uh, video uh, tutorial with respect to about how to use UFAL and there's a particular uh, nuance or specialty I'd like to show you uh, that is programmed in UFAL and probably doesn't exist in any other software. So um, I have a test case here, all the characters are fictional. As you can see, Harold, when we look at his federal return, I'm not sure if I made a Quebec, but um, this also holds true for Quebec and every other province in, in uh, Canada. And this particular taxpayer is a resident of Ontario, so I did a, an Ontario 428 for him. Uh, if we look at uh, page 3 of his return, you'll note right now uh, the only um, investment income is uh, that he has is dividends, which is taxed at a quite favorable rate. Uh, but not as well as as uh, capital gains and the reason being is that interest is taxed at 100 percent uh, dividends uh, comes in uh, right in the middle in terms of uh, favorable to least favorable because you get the dividend tax credit so on the $2,500 you might be taxable on that uh, sum of money. In this case, the taxpayer is not taxable because his income is taxable income is zero. But uh, if he was taxable, he would get the dividend tax credit, which is in addition to his non-refundable tax credits, and would reduce the tax owing calculated in this section here. So the particular specialty that I'd like to show you is T bills. So here we are at the Canada Revenue website, and there's an example. Uh, Jesse bought a T-bill on May 1st, 2019 for 49500 That would be my uh, purchase price. The T-bill's term was 91 days. And its maturity uh, value on August 1st, 2019 is 50000 um, However, he sold it on June 13, 2019. So he sold it prior to uh, maturity. Therefore, there will be a portion that is capital gains which is taxed more favorably because it's taxed at 50% um, as opposed to 100% and a portion that will be income and they show you the example how it it uh, appears here um, I'll see if I can post the link uh, at the end of the video so he sold it for 49,750 these this amount will be my proceeds the effective yield rate is 4.05% and it that is an important piece of information as well in because you needed to calculate the uh, um, the portion that's interest Jesse calculates interest on the T bills as follows purchase price times effective yield and 44 over 365 equals 241 dollars and 67 cents of interest income here's your proceeds subtract the uh, interest subtract from that the net proceeds of this uh, you get the net proceeds of this position and subtract from that the uh, adjusted cost base gives you a, 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 a capital gain of eight dollars and thirty three cents of which only about four dollars and a few cents will be um, taxable so let's see how we enter that in um, in new file as you can see it's uh, a bit of an involved uh, calculation so wouldn't it be nice if your program does this for you, provided you have all the information, you know where to put it. Now, um, a little caveat emptor here. Uh, T-bills has, has been a very rare investment, in part due to the fact that interest rates are almost non-existent. They were popular in the 80s and prior to that um, because you always uh, were able to generate an income on them. Um, with interest rates being the way they are, uh, they it hardly get, uh, I, I've hardly seen any T bills available, uh, and uh, on top of that, uh, the an effective rate of 4.05 percent is we probably would be dreaming if we could get an an interest uh, rate uh, uh, to the tune of this amount of money, but nonetheless, there is a place to put it in U file. Um, 
and like I said before, usually these investments are reported on a T5008. So we'll go into the interest, investment, income, and carrying charges section. Click on T5008 and uh, uh, this uh, T bill was, let's say, issued by the government of Ontario. Uh, joint, we, we'll pretend that it's 100%. Recipient type is an individual. In this case, not foreign currency. Date of settlement, uh, I believe that was uh, 13th of June 2019. So let's put 1306 Date of acquisition was uh, 1st of May 2019. Uh, 1st of May 2019 um, yes is the secure if the security had a maturity date select yes it did the maturity date we've already uh, had a bit in the information here it was August 1st 2019 security type T-bill, effective rate was 4.05, type of security, oh, type or code of security. Um, we can put that obligations in bearer form. Actually the actual T5008 will notify you of it. Uh, quantity of securities, that's usually for shares. Identification, we can put um, a make believe um, a make believe um, description here there you go face amount I believe that was fifty thousand yep fifty thousand great and the cost or the book value uh, was 49500 49500 proceeds of this position was about 49750 let's see yeah 49750 outlays and expenses none let's click on next next usually uh, saves the data or, or forces a, a recalc of of everything and let's save it for good measure. Let's just go straight to the return. I recalculated this return in a previous example, so I sh it should be able to generate a return without any errors and warnings. So th the income would appear here. Uh, notice that $214.67 is a it's exactly as per the example Let's put these side by side. Uh, sorry, I minimized the screen here. So it jumped to another section. Oh, there it is. $241.67 of interest. $241.67 worth of interest. Why $4.17? Well, interest is taxable. I'd 100%. Taxable capital gains is taxable at 50%. So 833 divided by 2 is 4.17. And where did this amount come from? If you double click here, it should take you to Schedule 3. I'll show you that it came from, I believe, a slip. Let's maximize this. All right, there it is. Here's my security, publicly traded shares, other investment income, government of Ontario, 50,000 face value at 405%. Here's my proceeds of disposition, my ACB, $8.33 of capital gains. Taxable amount at 50% is $4.17. Awesome. 
I hope you enjoyed this um, video and uh, that uh, you learned something new about UFile and tax as well. If you uh, uh, like this video, don't forget to like it down below and subscribe. I greatly appreciate you viewing these videos. Take care. Have fun.